Warp Station Alpha. Okay. Gel flow. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. That sounds good to me. I have to launch myself? Somehow? If I do that, that's, that's not going to work. It's just going to bloop, kind of out like that. Drop that distance. I would send me sailing way too far if I did that. Well, nope, because there's nothing down there that I could actually use to launch myself. I can't jump past this rail, either. Ugh. Keep your eye on the prize. Hmm. It's obvious I need a portal there and there, but... Hmm, I wonder if I can get on top of this rail like so. portals there, but is that really going to do me any good? And is really being on here doing me any good? Ow, oh, man. Not a good spot. Not a good spot. Definitely not a good spot. Oh, wait! Oh, I thought that was solid ground. My leg braces were going to save me. Maybe it is a good time to go eat. <laughs> Cause like I said, I didn't want to ah, didn't want to get involved in another puzzle because it would just delay me that much longer. Okay. I think I need to go over there. Let's go. Well, this one of these up. I can't go back down unless I take the stairs. I wonder if I can jump down the elevator shaft and propel myself that way. Aha! Uh -huh. What color did I use? What color did I use? Oops. Well, okay. I used the right color, so that's good. <laughs> I want to get back. Alright. Do this over. Get back up, please. Ooh, at least it moves fast. I bet you this place smells of rust and machines. Like an old car? Yeah, I bet you this smells like an old car. With the hood open? That's what this must smell like. Alright, I've got to do this jump correctly. There's going to be too much momentum, I believe, though. But still, let's give it a shot, yeah? Was 
actually not letting me do that, so I have to... Whoa. There we go. Whee that was scary. Oh, wow. I can actually put portals out there. <laughs> huh. Antimatter, it's an allergen. I knew that. I've always known that. Uh oh, why did I press that? Oh yeah, we got things rolling now. Yeah. Now. Down or up? Let's always go up. Let's make up a good a good default direction to go. So it seems down was the right way to go. <laughs> down it is. Now oh, come on. Also, come on. Oh. Right. Portal gun. Really? Just gotta see if this door opens. I don't think it will. But I gotta check. Man, I've been at this for hours. We're back out here. Is this the direction I wanna go? Whoa! They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. I'm doing all your science from scratch. Cave Johnson. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his leg. <laughs> Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Huh. Propulsion gel, is it? Neat! <laughs> Hold control to prevent bouncing. Ah. Wee. What if I jump now? Whoa! Rock on! I like it. What's the deal there? Too freaky. Ah, an old school button. It's all very old school. So their emancipation grids have been around for quite a while. Anyway, 
me. Parent, I need an old school weighted storage cube. Or something along those lines. I That is sweet. Why would I want to prevent this? This is fun. Falling thingy. How do I get that to open? Hoop. It looks connected to nothing, really. Oh, repulsion gel. Aperture's first attempt to create a, a dietic pudding substitute? Really? It's true, the gel is a sweeter, slightly less non toxic form of fiberglass insulation <laughs> that causes subsequently di ingest. A better place for my orange portal. Ingested foods to bounce off the lining of a dieter's in, uh, distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. Hmm. Yeah. suck to eat something and have it just repel right back out of your mouth. What is that all about? Yep. deal is with that. That's kind of weird. Oh, there's a button here. Oh, I didn't notice that button before. Sorry. It's old. I don't pay attention to old things. Just kidding. I do. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. Yeah. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> you know what? Um, I was wondering that too. Like, <laughs> if you're gonna give some of them blue paint and some of them the actual repulsion gel, in order for it to be a true scientific experiment, you would need to control it. Whoa! So why would you want people to know, one way or the other, whether or not they've got well, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, I suppose. You could let some know that they were the control group and others not so much. Oh, right. Just let me through. Ooh. I wonder where Gladys went from this point. I don't imagine they would have killed her off with that bird like that. That's For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. <laughs> Ribonucleic acid. As opposed to deoxy ribo nucleic acid. I don't remember the differences. Well, I know that there were complexities between ribonucleic acid and deoxy ribonucleic acid. Anyway, thinking too much about that right now. Oh, 
I'm getting some height. But I don't think it's going to do me any good unless I can get this stuff to move somewhere. I can't trust that to stay down. They never do. Need that box. How do we get on top of that now? Ah! out. Oh, it opened up that panel. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, wall jumping. Nice. This is going to be fun. Hup! I could have jumped at a better angle for that, I think. Whoa. Hup! There we go. What's the deal with all that? Looks like a death trap. Another panel to the exit. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. <laughs> 